What's up guys, Josh with Metal in Motion. I want to uh, show you guys a quick video on how to remove a stuck engine pulley on a riding mower. And uh, this is kind of just spur of the moment. I've been under this thing trying to pound this, uh, this pulley off the bottom. Which is not gonna be for everybody. You gotta have some tools to do this, but this is how we're gonna get it off. All right, I've got you under here. Uh, my welder's humming in the background. Hopefully that's not gonna mess you guys up too bad. So I've, uh, I've already screwed in the bolt. I've sprayed the top of the pulley and I've let the penetrating oil run out the bolt. It's been soaking for 10, 15 minutes. This is a long bolt and I've screwed it in to where just maybe a half inch is sticking out from the pulley. I've got my um, gun, I've turned this thing. I turn it down so it's not pounding as hard. I don't like pounding the crankshaft, you know, crazy hard, uh, but you know, I don't, want, I don't want to cut the crankshaft either trying to cut this pulley off. So um, I'm pulling down on the pulley and pushing up on the gun and just... Don't slip and hit the pulley. It's, it's come off a couple times, but I've not damaged the pulley. So it, the problem is it buzzes the bolt tight. It, it turns the bolt clockwise as it, as it does it and it tightens the bolt down. So you have to keep loosening the bolt up a little bit. I think it's moving, it's just super, super slow. So I'm gonna show you guys, just so you have another thing. If you, you have to have a welder though, and I know a lot of people don't have a welder. But um, take a ring, I'm gonna weld a ring right on the end of there. We're gonna clamp this on here. Watch your eyes. Lost a ring here. Uh, she's a little toasty. I'm not trying to weld over the hole. I'm trying to weld off to the side of the hole. All right, don't stare at the light. <laughs> All right, I don't know if that's going to be enough or not. Let me get my tool. So I don't know if those welds are going to be strong enough yet. What I've got is a slide hammer. And I've got this cobbled up big extension. Over the years, I've added things and added things. And now I've just got a, a simple hook on the end. Hook into the... Whew, I'm breathing hard, guys. i got this uh, stupid peg leg on me again still. Still got the broken foot. Where's me out and get nothing going? All right, now I'm gonna do a slide hammer with this. See if the uh, washer doesn't break off. There we go. And uh, the cool thing about that is that'll clean right off. We won't have any problem. It's not even hardly on there. I could probably break that right off. And then I can just uh, clean that up with a flat disc wheel and uh, we'll be good to go. So anyways, that's how I get some of these old pulleys. You'll see the top of the pulleys broken off. Still sitting up in here. There's the top of the pulley came off of it. So I think I want to just uh, inspect it and re-weld it. This is an old mower. We don't want to put a lot of money into it. It runs really good. But, uh, I don't know why that broke age, I guess. All right, guys. Well, uh, hopefully that helps somebody. That's helped me several times in the past. That was the only way I could get it off and I didn't have to cut it or anything. I can actually reuse the pulley. So uh, just be aware, you know, try not to beat too hard on that crankshaft. You know, when you're bringing the crankshaft down, it's technically pounding on the inside of that, that crankcase. But um, I mean, what, what other option you've got? You either cut it off and then you're probably gonna nick into the crankshaft, which, you know, can be smoothed up, but I don't know. You know, just another, another tip that you guys might be able to use down the road when you get in a pinch. So anyways, I'm Josh with Metal Emotion. We'll catch you guys next time.